By the end of day three, Jim Mann's uh, consolidated his lead and he's looking fairly comfortable at the front now. Um, Jasmine Paris has consolidated in second place as well and yesterday Beth Pascal had a really good run as well. Day four is different to last year at the beginning because we've moved the overnight camp to this location so none of the runners have all had the opportunity to recce this section because they wouldn't, wouldn't have known about this change. Um, so from here they've got three or four very very rough kilometres on challenging kind of rolling moorland like terrain. Um, they then pick up some really fantastic uh, kind of forestry trails and tracks which are used to access some uh, wind turbines and that's fast and after that they're into the Elam Valley and they actually follow good uh, tracks and trods if they're going the right way taking the optimal route and then passing some kind of lowland areas where the reservoirs of the Elam Valley are There's some lovely wooded valleys and then they're climbing back up again the kind of final climb of the day to our final checkpoint of the day which is Dragon Bar. After dropping off from here rather, they've got quite a long 10k section on the road and if it was just 10k on the road in isolation it would be one of the most picturesque in the country but it's at the end of day four on Burkhouse Dragon's Back race so everyone's tired and they just want to finish. The good news is our overnight camp is fantastic, really lovely uh, camping field and if the weather's warm enough, fantastic river to swim in next to it. People are beginning to get a sense that you know if they can get through day four, they're pretty much at the finish. You know, just, just finish one day and there's only one day to go. <laughs>